Now I am now at the stage in my Youth to Gold series where I can finally show you how I like to set up my perfect scouting network in the best case scenario. And that is what I'm going to show you today. Now, the reason why I believe I am in the perfect situation to show you the perfect scouting network is because I have 23 scouts at my disposal, which is the highest I've had throughout FM21 with all the decent scouting attributes in judging player potential, ability and adaptability that I require. I'm going to show you first off what to look for most importantly in your scouts, then how to set them up for maximum impact with different stages too. And finally, a little bit of inside stuff which you may not have ever even thought about or even known about with a couple of staff members just knocking around that really I don't even use that much. So let's go through this step by step. By the way, if you learned something in today's video, may I ask that you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let's aim for 500 like target. I believe you can do it. Okay, step number one is what to look for in your scouts. Now, this may be one of the most obvious before you click off and decide to stop watching the video. Just bear with me a second because this totally obviously depends on what you're trying to achieve at your club. If you are looking for first team players to slot straight into your side, you're going to want to prioritize different things than I do because you'll be looking to prioritize, of course, the judging player ability. You want the player ability, what they are right now, not the player potential, which is what I would look for in my youth to gold save because I'm only allowed to sign teenagers. But if, like me, you're on the hunt for those regens, the youth prospects, then the judging player potential is something you would need to prioritize. Some people may prioritize both. You, you can get a lot of scouts who are also quite good at both, but I also always look for adaptability to be selected. Now, the reason why I do that is because you'll see very soon where I have all of my scouts sent it is every single nook and cranny around the world. There's not a country that they won't visit and I need them to be able to adapt to different countries. So if we look at this scout here, he has 20 adaptability. And if we look at the description of adaptability, a high adaptability attribute will enable the staff member to settle quickly in a new country, but will also help a little in settling in at new clubs and new roles. The faster a member of staff can integrate into the new working environment, the quicker and better they can do in their job. So as the explanation really says, if you send a scout to a country that they're not familiar with and they have low adaptability, they're not really going to do a very good job for you. It literally says that there. So the next part we're going to actually look at is if when you click on the scouting part here, before we go to assignments and assign all of your scouts, there is a scouting budget. And if we click on this, I have this set to maximum of four million pound because I have ridiculous transfer budget, but you need to prioritize what you consider to be 50-50 or you need to prioritize whether you want more in the transfer budget. The more you have on the scouting budget, the more likely you're gonna find a lot of players because these scouts can go to as many different countries around the world and not have to worry about the cost. Everything is a cost just like it is in real life. It's the same on Football Manager. This little slider here actually is a lot more important in regards to your scouting network. As well as if you go onto the player tab, the recruitment package that you have as well. You might have a small club who doesn't have any package or just the, the league that you're in, the country that you're in. I obviously have the world package because we are a world famous club now with a lot of money. So always look to try and get the highest package you can possible so you can find the best players. Now, obviously, if you want to be like myself and get the most scouts possible, well, you need to go down to the board request down to staff and you need to ask for more scouts you can see down the bottom there ask for scouts allowed the board will get back to me and i'll find out whether i can have more scouts i have keep doing this every single time that that option is available and slowly but surely i now have 23 scouts to do and that is what i love because then i can show you this this is my assignments that I have, my scouts and assignments. And I have 24 active assignments ongoing right now with my 23 scouts. You may think, well, there's one awaiting a scout availability. 
Yes, I've done that on purpose and I will show you that in a second. So, how have I managed to manipulate and tell all of my scouts to go to the different clubs around the world? Well, it all depends on how many scouts you can obviously get. Say, for instance, I went to this guy and I was just giving him what I consider to be my scout and assignment. I have enough scouts now with the 23 that I have that I can get one in every single region down here. So this is what I look for. The region down here, I can now get one in every single region and I still have a few scouts left over to do whatever I will show you after. But some people may not have enough you may just be building up your repertoire of scouts you may go for just continent there is only six continents available say if you have eight scouts send one to each and every continent with a high package it may take longer to find the best players but eventually they will travel around these continents and find whatever you are looking for whether it be first team players whether it be potential stars in the future now people are going to ask what i basically have so for every single one of these regions that i have I've selected I have age of at most 19 and I have scouting potential of a star which is five star of course and I have the duration as ongoing meaning that they will continually do this every single time I will never have to make them do it again because if you only do it to the end of the season or for the amount of years or until finish until finish is normally like three months they'll just they'll just scan the place that they've gone to and then they'll just leave and then they'll be just be sat there and you'll be paying them to do nothing and you'll probably forget like I do so I always set it to ongoing and then I start the assignment and that leads us to have every single region available there is a scout in that region now of course you need to prioritize certain things when you're looking at this as well it's not just as easy as going down the list and going yep 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 he goes there he goes there because sometimes i mean if i select this man for example he has 15 adaptability which is really good so i don't really have to worry about that too much wherever i send him he's going to be fine with but say i could not get as many scouts as possible with good adaptability say his adaptability is only five and i have a number of different scouts however this little section down here tells you the world not where he has been before obviously you can see what country he's in if they are from that country just send them to that region because it will just benefit and just be easier for everyone involved they'll probably bring back better players they'll feel more comfortable in that country it just easy for everybody else but unfortunately though there's some nations where you just can't find a scout who are who's from there so for instance here the guy who i've sent to south asia we can see he's actually italian so he has 14 adaptability he'll be absolutely fine it's never just as easy you just have to prioritize what scouts you have where to send them first and just make sure you have all your grounds covered but if you got to this far in the video how about letting me know that you have managed to do that and you're not one of those naughty boys who click off the video after five minutes and let me know what is your favorite country or region that you like to scout maybe it's a competition as well there are some people who prefer to scout competitions let me know down in the comments and let's see if we can have some weird and wacky suggestions or some similar ones now it gets to a point where I have had more scouts than I need for the region. So I have a few left over and what I have basically done there is I've been very clever. So there is one of my scouts who has a very high tactical knowledge. It is this man, this German man here. He has good adaptability, not amazing. He has very good judgment player potential and ability, better ability though. He's also really good at analyzing data and he has 15 attacking knowledge. So I have actually set this guy up so that he will scout my next opponent every single time you can do that by selecting the part up here you can change it so ongoing reports on the next opponent this is the man who i've got doing that every single time and that's the reason why now every before every game i will get a report back from this man telling me what the what my next opponent's strengths weaknesses what the likely formation they're going to play so you can prepare for these games it's actually a really handy tool to have if you have enough scouts to do so and i yet i still have three more scouts left so what i decided to do is i sent one just scouting bundesliga only so obviously it's the league that i'm playing in no other conditions whatsoever so he's just bringing me back reports on all the players in my league i can see who's doing well and who's not and then i have the uefa youth league because this is how you can do it in the competitions you can go down europe for example you have all of these leagues here you can you can do the champions league you can say you can even go to like north america the Concacaf league i'm sure you can do every single competition in the world i decided to do the uefa youth league 
because I am looking for those youth prospects. It's another way to get me a 19 year old star or less than 19 year old star. It's just handy to have, I guess. And it's already found me a few players when those games have been on. I also mentioned about a few staff members that you have in your disposal that sometimes you may not even use. And I am really to blame for this as well. These four recruitment analysts. So I have them and I very rarely use them. And now I've decided that I need to start using them because they are actually really beneficial. So if I take a look at my scouted players here and say, so this guy is a recommended 85 from my scouts, I can actually request to get an analyst report from all of the analysts that I have at my disposal as well. So if I ever ask for that and send that off, I go back to the scouting center that I have here and go to analyst priorities. I've got these three analysts, these three players here ready to be analyzed by all of my analysts and I can assign that as well. And then you can go on to this section here, players analyzed, and you will have another set of eyes on this player and another set of recommendations. So this guy here, my analyst, is an 83 recommendation and it has some other things which the scout room side of it doesn't have. Notable pros, he got himself five assists in the games that they all watched and notable, notable cons, he was offside 13 times for this player here. And if I take a look at this man, he's not bad, to be honest, 19 years of age, he doesn't look too bad. Uh, that may be the make or break on whether I decide to sign this player or not. So always make sure that you use that as well. So I can even just click, shift, click, right click, and you can get reports and get an analyst report for all of these players. So in the future, they will all come back and those guys will have a look at these players as well. A second set of eyes, remember, and maybe another opinion which will make or break whether I sign these players. It's actually a really handy tool that I don't think anybody very much uses. So I implore you to try and use that in the future. So I hope this has helped. I hope you've learned something today. If you did, smash that like button. 500 likes if you can. That would be absolutely amazing. In. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Smash that subscribe button. Maybe hit the notification bell so you do not miss another upload. I'll see you in a couple of days' time. Thank you very much for watching today, guys. I appreciate it. Love you all. Bye-bye.